Yo. From Mr. The Face, I hear the voice. You don't know, say a cogent, say pan a cogent, say reacts channel. And today, we have a different video. You know, I've been trying to put some different kind of reactions on the channel lately. So this video title is, The problem with society is, most men don't own anything, so they don't give up. Uh, too early in the video for me to say that word. <laughs> maybe later though, maybe, maybe, maybe after eight minutes or so. Because you know, we're going to yap on a little bit today. But today's video is from Wisdom Warriors. You understand? So before we jump into it, let's like the video and let's subscribe over there. You know what I'm saying? It's just a click of a button. It really don't take much. I just showed you how easy it is to like and subscribe. You understand? And I'm going to show you how easy it is to comment as well. Look at this. Look at this. I'm just going to comment, comment. Not just, just, just to show you how easy it is. You see, we did all of that before we started the video. So before we jump into it, please hit the like button. Please jump in the comments. Timestamp, gang. Timestamp your favorite part in this video. Timestamp a part that was interesting to you. Timestamp something that you want to talk about. Or just timestamp anything. And for no reason, gang. For no reason. Just comment for no reason. Literally the words for no reason. For no reason. Definitely. For no reason. And trigonometry, gang. For the real OGs. You know what I'm saying? Since the start. Since way back. Like hey back. You know what I'm saying? Like in a May back. Yeah, you know and most importantly, let's subscribe as to the numbers going up. I appreciate you. I love you. Let's keep grinding, keep subscribing, keep striving, and let's jump into the video. Okay, team. Today, I want to talk about why men are going their own way. Mm -hmm. Why a lot of men are abandoning their families or mm -hmm. abandoning trying to date or relationships. Mm -hmm. Why community is failing mm -hmm. and patriotism or shared social bonds are getting destroyed. Mm -hmm. It comes down to ownership. All right. Now, I might be canceled for this video, but hear me out. If a man doesn't feel ownership in the land, in his family, in his tribe or village, he will not be inspired to accept responsibility for that thing. True. For instance. True. If I was starting a business and I wanted someone to be an A player for me, someone to be high up in the business, to be a great leader, to really help the business flourish, what would I do? I would give them a ownership role. I would give them mm. a share of the company, right? It's the same thing in society. If you want participants, really good citizens, if you want men to overcome their lower nature and rise to truly masculine and beautiful men and leaders, you mm -hmm. need to give them ownership or mm -hmm. else they're gonna say fuck it so the the sure. main impulse hey 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 it's is towards hey, how, or how, we don't want to be tied down to all of these obligations and responsibilities to our village to the nation to our job to our family like we just want to wander freely right a lot of mm. men do and society and cultures in the ancient world coped with this will towards freedom within men by offering them mm. ownership okay. by offering them authority and this ownership mm. is what created citizens and this is really important this is what my last video is about bear with mm. me if you're feeling triggered <laughs> no 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 citizenship no. is when you own a long-term stake within a larger project right mm -hmm. so let's say you're in a village okay mm. and you own a piece of land in that village and your kids are probably gonna inherit that, that piece of land. And on yeah. top of that, you feel like you have great ownership of your family. You're more of the patriarch of your family. Therefore, how are you gonna treat your family and how are you gonna treat the land? A lot of modern people will be like, oh, he's gonna abuse them and all these things. It's like, no, that's the exception to the rule. Mm -hmm. The main rule would be you're, you would try to make see that whole thing flourish. Yeah. Your father generally wants to see the best for their kids. A father who owns the land is going to pass it down generations, wants to see the best of True. that land. Is probably going to build it up in some way. And on top of that, you are going to want the best for your community. You're going to go and participate in governance. You're going to like mm -hmm. try to be a good citizen to your neighbors. You're going to build community and build relationships because it's meaningful to you. Mm -hmm. Because you have a long-term stake in the whole, right? True. When you take away the man's role 
at the head of the family mm-hmm. or you take away the man's role uh, in terms of private land ownership. Right, You take away his sense of having a long-term stake in something. Therefore, his nurturing, like, his, like his, he doesn't feel inspired to take responsibility for it because it has less meaning for him, okay? Now, I'm not, like, trying to advocate for, you know, maybe outdated and roles of masculinity. I'm just trying to paint a picture of human nature for people out there. Is that when people feel like they have ownership in something they're going to take responsibility in that thing because it has meaning for them and let's talk about this politically and geopolitically in terms of democracy versus monarchy (laughs) man we're going heretical in this video aren't we (laughs) drop a like if you like this kind of content i already did the middle Ages. but if you got to this part in the in the video in this reaction i know i haven't i've been letting him talk i've been letting him get his points off but we're definitely going to get into some stuff as well. But if you got to this part in my video, please hit the like button, please. Saw a lot of monarchies, kingdoms, and aristocracies, right? And there's been a massive wave of propaganda in the past like 100 years from liberal democracy saying that the Middle Ages were all dark and kings were like these conniving, greedy, fat fools who are just in it for themselves. And this is not true. Mm. You can go see Thinking West, a YouTuber's video on this. But the monarchies of the past, on in general, tended to be okay, if not good. There were, of course, <laughs> bad kings and bad ones. Just like of course. Men, okay? Of course. But in that... It's about everything. The, the patriarch, the monarch, the king, he feels ownership for his entire kingdom, meaning that he is thinking generations of head ahead because he wants his kingdom to thrive. He's not going to overtax the peasants because he wants them to be more productive, to have better lives. So they mm-hmm. multiply and increase the will to power of the entire kingdom. You see, the main instinct of life is to increase the, the feeling of power in life. And this is a very Nietzschean philosophy. And this the feeling of power has nothing to do with control. It has everything to do with vitality, an increased mm. feeling of life and expansiveness here on earth, a mastery of open space. And so the king is going to be thinking, a good king is thinking generations of head, ahead. He's trying to, how can my people uh, you know, be more productive and live happier lives so they multiply and increase the power of the nation, Right. And he's thinking this way because he wants to pass down this kingdom to his children, who he also feels to be a part of himself, right? Therefore, he has all of this meaning to lead, to lead well, to lead his family well, to lead his tribe well, to lead his kingdom well. Contrast that with a president. A president is in office for four to eight years, Mm -hmm. and it's a popularity vote to get him in there. (laughs) And therefore, he's not thinking generations ahead. He He is thinking, thinking, how can I gain popularity in the next four Four years years, so that people will reelect me, right? What's he going to do? He's going to drive the nation like a rental and make decisions that might be good in the short term, but are detrimental in the long term. And I think right now, a lot of people are realizing that like every president has made a decision that has made a worse decision for the next president. Like it's just a domino effect of horrible decisions that have led to where the economy is now. And it's just going to continue happening because whoever is there now is just going to make a decision for themselves and their party and their friends. Cause it's just all friends and who's making money at this time within this four year period. And then who's going to have the, 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 the power to make that sort of money and have to call certain shots in the next four years. That's all it is. And I think a lot of people are realizing that now. That's why a lot of men are realizing that now. So that's another reason why they're refusing to partake in this. Because it's, it's, it, there's, no, there's no win in sight. There's no light at the end of the tunnel. The, like, they're just going to keep making them richer and us poorer so why continue it's kind of like if you rent a property versus you own the property if you own the property you're going to cultivate the land Mm -hmm. you're going to cultivate relationships 
Yep. You're gonna make it, you're gonna help it blossom, and you're gonna think really far into the future, generations ahead. Mm-hmm. If you rent the land, you're not gonna give a fuck. Okay, you're not gonna give a shit about making it better. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm only gonna be here for four years. I'm gonna drive it like a rental. I'm gonna abuse this. I'm gonna pump money into the economy. I'm gonna exploit the land as much as possible to you know gain prestige for myself and maybe short-term gain for the whole but to the long-term detriment it's kind of like using pesticides on the soil it's going to destroy the soil health for short-term gain right and so it's really important i think for like revolutionary men and for more traditional men who are going their own way out here is to think about the concept of ownership outside of po- like political lines outside of party lines and that's the thing is like i'm not trying to subscribe to any dogma i'm trying to think freely about how to create a flourishing humanity right so don't put me in any of your boxes out here but what <laughs> i am saying is that yes, the please. more that man feels ownership in this life ownership in his spiritual path ownership of his family Leonidas. ownership of his community, ownership of his life, the more responsibility he's going to take, the more empowered he's going to become as a man and the better man he's going to become. Like it's so contrary to how modern man looks at, at this concept. We're like, Oh, power corrupts, right? It's bullshit. We need ownership in order to feel inspired to overcome ourselves, to live for something larger. And the more, that feminism rises like put man in his place and the more that the world makes it harder and harder to own land and the mm. wor- and the more that the world alienates us from that's a big talking point how hard it is to own land to buy a house now to become a homeowner to just purchase your own shelter instead of renting most people will never like a lot of people at the age of 30 now will never, ever, like 30 and up, like just stuck in their workforce and their industry, they will never get the chance to become a homeowner. A lot, of, basically, a majority of people now. So even that plays another role into it. So how are you going to inspire people to partake in this if they don't own it, if they don't own anything? Like eventually, it's going to lead to a collective feeling of, you know, F this. You know what I mean? Let's watch it unfold, though. Shared social bonds and feeling like we have a stake in the future of our village and our tribe and our nation. We're just going to go our own way. And like a lot of men are going to follow fall into their, their lowest nature, their most petty nature, because mm-hmm. they don't have the meaning to overcome themselves for a larger project. And this is tragic. So it really comes down to ownership. Um, a lot of people talk about this and it sounds bad. The man should own his family. In a sense, he should. Like, yeah, like he should lead as a wise and loving father, take his his wife's input and her wants and needs into account like any good leader would. This is the this is a round table. But at the end of the day, you got to feel like you have authority, that you are the leader, right? That you have a say in your in, in, in your government, that you have a say in your family, that you have a stake in your community little passionate rant there no, out yeah, in the forest, but it makes huh? sense it makes <laughs> sense though go off. Uh, <laughs> my he sounds like me sometimes he goes off but i go off all the time don't don't be sorry bro we need to go off christian i'm trying to spread awareness about Dark modernity christian. versus the ancient world mm. and try to start men towards a new path of banding together and creating a more traditional yet forward-thinking type of community where we can thrive again. This channel is in service to high culture. Thank you for watching. You can click the link in the description below if you want to talk to me one-on-one or join my men's community where we have accountability circles, we have philosophy circles, and it's so much fun going deep with other brothers like yourself. So come talk to me (laughs) one-on-one if that interests you. If not, go watch this video about citizenship. I'll see you over there. That, That was insightful. That was insightful. It's like he was in the forest 
I don't know if he goes in the fire off. This is the first video I've watched of his. But I was like, yo, this is a very interesting video. We need to react to this. But it's like he was just in the forest chilling. I was like, hmm, what's the problem with society today? <laughs> like, and then he gave us a good video. And it's true. If you don't feel like you, because that's the thing, they, they, they demonize the word ownership. You know what I'm saying? Ownership is, is just a, a connection, but just from a, a level of, of overseeing. You know what I mean? It's not something that you need to demonize. Oh, you own me. You, you know, own, like, it's not no slave thing. No, 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 no. But in terms of, like, your family and your wife, because that's how they demonize it it's for the male-female dynamic for relationships. But he does have you know, uh, ownership equals responsibility. Literally, that's all it means. So once he feels like he's the owner of this he has to be responsible of this and if he's not responsible of anything he has no if he's he has no responsibility then his behavior is going to you know what i'm saying display irresponsibility irresponsibility in i guess society relationships land you know community because he's just going to think about himself because that's the only thing he really owns himself like I don't, I only own myself, bro. Like so, I'm only going to care about myself. <laughs> I, I can't own nothing else. You know what I'm saying? So that I do understand this point of view, and I do agree. So let me know if you agree. <gasps> if you made it to the end of this video, let me know if you agree. Let me know how you feel about that. Let me know how you feel about these kinds of videos. If you want to see, we react to more of those, more of these, and then we can turn them into those. Okay, you know we ain't no host. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you know me, I get carried away. Because I ain't get... Alright, I'm done. I'm done. But please hit the like button. Jump in the comments. Trigonometry gang. Phone and user gang. Timestamp gang. Timestamp your favorite part in this video. Timestamp something that stood out to you. Timestamp something that you want to talk about in the comments below. I reply to all the comments. And most importantly, let's subscribe, man. I appreciate all the subscribers, all the new ones, all the old ones. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. You know what I'm saying? The door is always open. Keep grinding. Keep striving. Keep subscribing. Coach Justin, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.